City Chat. I'm Louise Houston. Today we'll be discussing the Edinburgh tram chaos with two studio guests. But first, here is Alan with today's top news stories. Thanks, Louise. Today's top story is that unemployment has risen from 80,000 to 2.51 million within three months to July in the UK. According to the Office for National Statistics, this is the largest increase in nearly two years. The unemployment in youth has increased by 78,000 by 973,000. The job seeker's allowance rose by 20,300 in August to 1.58 million. In other news, if you are used to using Windows operating systems such as Windows 7, Microsoft is getting ready to release Windows 8 by 2012. This software has been designed to be suitable for your use on desktop, laptop or tablet computers. There will be a tablet version known as Metro and a similar one seen in editions of Windows before. Microsoft have also claimed that they will be launching their own marketplace known as Windows Store to sell downloadable applications. And also, there is a story that British children seem to be unhappy. According to UNICEF's report card, the well-being of children is at the bottom of a league of developed nations. This is because parents seem to spend a lot of money on material goods, such as expensive gadgets. Therefore, they are not spending enough time with their children. This shows that the parents don't have enough full time, enough uh, time as they work full time and spend a lot of money on goods in a way of making up for it. Every child that we interview said that material goods does not make them happy, and which is quite true. And as the uh, true saying goes, money can't buy you happiness or love. And uh, that thing about Windows application store is a rip-off of the App Store. Uh, well, that's it for me. Now it's over to Louise. Thanks, Alan. We are now going for a short break, but stay tuned as we will be back soon with a discussion on the tram situation in Edinburgh. Okay, let's go through them one more time. Night at the Museum 2. Uh-huh. Ice Age 3. Yeah. The A-Team. Got it. Marley and me. Uh... Okay, what was the first one again? Ugh, oh, Peanut Head. Ooh, yeah, let's watch that one. Which one? Peanut Head. Who's in it? Oh, you are. Win one of a million DVDs with our special sharing packs and make your movie night. Three shows you all want to watch. On at the same time, there's going to be a clash. But not when it comes to Virgin Media's TiVo box. Oh, no. You can record this. And these two. While watching one you recorded earlier. Clash over. And TiVo has enough space for as much as 500 hours of TV. Which we think is the best way to watch TV ever. But what do you think? There's more online. At last. The UK's number one toothbrush brand has finally developed a toothpaste that's as good as our brushes. New Oral-B Pro Expert Toothpaste is clinically proven to help protect all these areas your dentist checks most. New Oral-B Pro Expert, the toothpaste our brushes have been waiting for. Hello again and welcome back to City Chat. Here joining me in the studio today is our two guests, Megan Greenlees and Sean McGuire on the tram situation in Edinburgh. So Sean, what do you think about the tram chaos at the moment? I think the chaos is unfortunate and there's been a lot of problems getting the trams ready in time, but I think the benefits are going to far outweigh the delays and all the disruptions at the moment. I think it's going to be really popular with tourists and bringing a lot of uh, revenue to the city of Edinburgh, so I think it's going to be beneficial for the city. What's your thoughts on this, Megan? I think it's been a complete waste of time and a complete waste of money. Could have been spent on something better. I mean, what do you feel the money should have been spent on instead? I think it should be spent on more of looking after the poor section of Edinburgh yeah. instead of concentrating it in the centre, which is much more wealthier. Mm. I mean, with with the trams being built and set up, there's, there's an argument that the, the disruption to the tourism around the city centre is bit like will cause a lot of money loss because obviously you can't get about. Do you feel that that will be made up for when the trams are there mm. or do you feel that it's just an all round loss? No, definitely. I mean, Edinburgh's already got a lot of tourists coming into it and I think the trams are going to bring in a lot of people who are just interested maybe in transport. They've got the nostalgia factor and a bit of a novelty factor to them. So I think a lot of people who are interested in that transportation will come to the city to see the new tram system. So I think it's going to bring in more revenue in the end. I don't agree. I think people are going to be much more interested in the um, popular sites such as the castle instead of trams. 
Mm. The trams will help people get around in the city, so obviously if tourists are still coming, they're going to be using the trams, it's still going to be bringing in money. But then, I mean, there's, ov there's obviously the flip side of, they're saying that the trams might bring a lot of jobs, but they could also ruin jobs. Do you feel that this is going to be a benefit or a loss? Well, it just depends, because, I mean, obviously if they've got a lot of public transport, it might uh, affect train drivers and bus drivers, but they'll always be, they, I assume they'll always be careful in that the trams are going to need conductors, drivers, people as well, so they'll bring uh, jobs for them. Mm -hmm. It's not as if I don't think anyone's just going to be completely out of job just because the trams have been introduced. Yeah. I think it'll be a great loss. Um, I think, apart, like, apart from people saying like, it would be okay for bus drivers if they do lose their jobs, I don't think the amount of bus drivers that drove the buses would make up for the amount of numbers you would need for, to drive trams. I think yeah. there'll be a lot of people that will actually lose their jobs. Yeah, I mean, with trams being more kind of computerised, you might not need as many people as well as the bus. Uh -huh. I mean, the trams are also going to be green. They're not going to be using as many fossil fuels, so that's going to be a benefit to the city of Edinburgh as well, because obviously yeah. a lot of people are interested in going green. Yeah. So I mean, a lot of people may use the trams as transport if they think they're helping the environment. Yeah. I don't think um, many people will use the trams just because it's green. I think the Scottish Government have tried many environmental incentives to get people to use more public transport, but it's never really happened. I think people are more likely to use their cars just out of convenience. OK, right. Well, thank you for your input. Thanks, guys. Well, that's all we have time for today. We hope you have enjoyed today's programme and we'll be back for another next time for another edition of City Chat. Goodbye. <laughs>